Okay, so what we're going to do to get started, we're going to test your eyesight. So would you be able to, can you see, <laughs> can you see, can you see the black Volvo, uh, Volkswagen, yeah. sorry? Could you read that license plate? LL69YXD. Yeah? You've got very good eyesight, so there's no issues there. That's at least 20 meters or more, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's good. And then you'll get your tell me question. We haven't covered too many of these, so if you're not too sure of the answer, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to tell me how you would know that the lights were working on the vehicle? Like, what would you do to check the lights working? You'd get out and check. Yeah, good, so headlights, taillights, just get out and check. Lovely. Now we're going to be doing the driving part, and at some point I'll ask you show me question. Have we covered these two show me questions? The yeah. Fronty mister, really mister. Yep. At some point I may ask you to do that, or have you beat the horn on this vehicle before? Funny enough, yeah. A few times? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyone else that's been on the channel will know exactly what Lily Rose is talking about. <laughs> okay, so when you're ready and it's safe, what I'd like you to do is yep. we're going to drive on, we're going to start your mock test from here. I'm going to give you directions to start with, and then in a moment we'll start with the Saturn Avenue okay. Independent Drive. So again, when you're ready, just drive on, take us to the exit of the car park just here and turn right for me, please. Thank you. See when your car's parked like this, mm -hmm. do you still need to do blind spot checks? Um, would there be any danger coming from the left or right of Not, the vehicle? I mean, there could be, but... I mean, okay. If you say that there could be, yeah. would it be safer to check? Yes. All right. That's the way that the examiners would look at that. Okay. I'd like to turn right again. Excellent positioning back to the left side here. There aren't any road markings, but you've done your best to keep to your side of the road. Well done. Excellent peep and creep as well. Nice observations. It's technically a right turn, so I'd like to signal right and just slow us down because we can't see through here. And then if it's safe, we're just going to go across into this next road on the right here. Lovely. You wouldn't really need to do that on your test because the test center's just there, but we can't use their car park because we get in trouble, basically, okay? Or inconvenience someone on their test. Let's let's put it that way. Right, um, following the sat-nav now, okay? So let's see uh, how Gloria does. Um, it seems that you'll be given directions at the end of the road to turn left, mm -hmm. and then the sat-nav should do a decent job of giving you at directions the end of the road, after. Turn left, Park Avenue, then... Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. You will arrive at your destination at 12.29 p. Turn left, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A41, Northwestern Avenue, not a school way. speed so far so you're getting up to roughly 40 miles an hour we have a national speed limit sign on this road mm -hmm. but from the advice that I've been given is that if we get up to 40 or over 40 it seems like we're okay on this road turn right over Wesley Avenue well done you've now reached 50 it's pretty good Fair 
Merrick at Merrichek. Turn left, Meriden Way. Oh, it's working. Can you see the green bush here on the left? Yes. I'd just like you to pull up alongside the road here, just by the green bush, please. Oh, camera's not working. It will work once you slow down enough. Slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Sorry. Try pushing the camera button one more time. And right on the pavement. So that one's a better angle, it shows you exactly where you are, okay? Yeah. Don't panic, it doesn't necessarily mean that you failed the driving test, okay? Mm -hmm. So, for anybody that is watching this, seek some solace in knowing that, you know, it doesn't mean that you failed, okay? So if I did that on the test, what would they say? It'd be at the end of the test, they would mark it down, and according to how the examiner feels, they can make it minor, or possibly major, it depends on the situation. Awareness. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is just part of the test. The examiner's going to ask you to pull over at least three times on your test and then ask you to drive away again. So when you're ready and it's safe, I'd like to drive on and just continue to follow the sat nav. Good, when in doubt, boom, well done. Good observations, good signal, excellent preparation. Wasn't that bad, was it? No. Yeah. I do realize I think where I was concentrating on pressing the camera too much, I was letting the car swerve. To the left. That's a good road, point. Yeah. Turn left your way, then take the second right. Thank you. Turn left, then take the second right. Very good, well done Lily. You predicted that, yeah? That's yeah. called awareness and planning. Fantastic. It's really the last stage for someone when they're learning to drive, so it looks like you're there. So that practice After in central 200 London. Yards, it's all those right. crossing things. <laughs> Not too sure about the mirror checks though. It's very hard to see from where I am. If I'm checking. Mm, especially with the right one. Yeah, it's hard because your head's right there, isn't it? It's yeah. For this vehicle, yeah, because the mirror's positioned right there, head's right there. Mm. It's, it's so hard to tell. The examiners have kind of mentioned that to me. They mentioned it to me again yesterday. Did they? So I'm kind of getting you guys just to maybe just tilt the heads just a tiny bit, just to kind of help. It's like have a twitch or something. After 200 yeah. yards, turn left, Philippus. It's nice, Royal Mail's got an electric van. Oh, they've done that now. It's cool, yeah. It's crazy the world we're living in now. I feel like give it another 10 years, everything's going to be electric. Yeah, it's going to be very hard. eco. Yeah, so we're just following the road here. Don't worry about the signal. Gloria's just giving us a little bit of incorrect um, information. So the examiners will take over at that point and just let you know that the sat nav's wrong and they'll give you the correct direction. Okay. It's quite common on the test. Oh, really? What, because yeah. of new roads? Yeah, just updating sat nav, new roads, new layouts, so it's changing all the time. Um, would you find a convenient place to pull up on the left? Yeah. That's lovely, and you did that without the camera, that's absolutely spot on. Do you mind if I just show you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could do it with the camera, but it's nice just to see outside. You see that? Yeah, I think it's, it's easy when I'm not actually thinking about using the camera. Yeah, I would encourage that then. Because, you know, when you're going through those whip restrictions, mm -hmm. I can see you using the camera a bit, but I could see as you're approaching it, your judgment, because you can't use the camera really as you approach, you have to use it in the junction, but you're very straight early on, so you have good spatial awareness, okay? Okay. Try and rely on it. When yeah. you're ready and it's safe, drive on. I think that's my problem. I think I'm trying to rely on the technology too much. Yeah, you're able. You're a good driver. Oh, thanks. It's true. Um, sometimes when we're stressed, that might make us act differently, but yeah. when you're relaxed you, you 
cable. After okay. 200 yards, I think I just don't work well after the street. Hence why I keep missing all my exams. <laughs> Sounds like me. Yeah, I, don't, I, I can test well when I'm forced to, but I really don't like the, it's the build up for me. So my sat nav may or may not said it's a roundabout, so roundabout, turn it left. Excellent mirror check. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the third right. So it looks like we're going to be going into a quiet area where you'll be doing the manoeuvre. Turn right, Codicate Drive. The bit that always gets me is this pavement. You can see where it is yeah, now. Good memory. Garston. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, we got the station wrong then, maybe. We, uh, we were saying Cody, Cody Coat. It's yeah, Garston. Garston. See the van's position has really right. close to the line. Mm. That's where we'd like to be. Okay. So we're going to do a right turn. So if you have a look, if your position close, see the vehicle behind? Yeah, it can Possibly move. get through. So for the position, we're blocking the road. Okay, Not so great. would that be a minor? Possibly, yeah. Just want to get really nice and tight to the lines are turning right, so centre line okay. to centre line. Oh. Yeah, good decision. Wasn't very safe to go, was it? All right, so it looks like they went up the pavement instead. Chance. Okay, I'd like to find a convenient place somewhere down this road to pull up on the left. After 80 yards, turn right, yeah, turn right and right. Should I pull up anyway? Turn uh, right. Yeah, so turn right here first then please, and then find somewhere to pull up on this road. Cheers. Not behind, have a learner driver. <laughs> okay, love it. What we're going to do is we're going to do the manoeuvre. Can you see that there's a black vehicle just past this white van? Mm -hmm. I'd like to move out and stop parallel with the black vehicle, and we're okay. going to do a reverse park exercise. Okay. So if that's clear to you, unless you have any questions, take your time when it's safe to do so, move out. Stop parallel to the black car, reverse park within two car lengths, and finish a reasonable distance from the cab. Okay. When you're ready. And a seven day pass. That's my second company. <laughs> said, up the days depending on how you're driving is. <laughs> For your test, I'd suggest starting a bit close to the vehicle. Okay. And then if oncoming traffic comes, there's just going to be more space than to pass. When you're ready, we'll begin. Too well. Because we started wide of the part vehicle, it's yeah. going to give you a very, very sharp angle like this. Can I start again? Yes. Let's go to the silver vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Having a terrible time. Give you more room to just come up in position. Turn right, Gadsden Crescent. Oh my god. 
Oh, it is so hard. Learning to drive isn't easy. It's when, you, when you're focusing on this, I'm freaking out. Oh. Take time. Second line. I'm doing very good, just nice and relaxed, take time, take a deep breath, take a pause if you want to, no rush. Looking pretty good. It's a little bit of curve to the right, I'm quite happy with that. So if you just want to screw the car, well done. I'm just going to tick off through past that uh, part of your test and when you're ready, if it's safe, because there's on. a curve in the road, that would be considered fine, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. The front tire is probably just about a reasonable distance from the curb. Okay. Um, from the curb, sorry. And because it's a curve, I'm going to be a little bit forgiving on that one. Okay. okay. All right. When you're ready, and it's in safe. In the test, if I was to back it up a little bit, would it be too distant from the first car? Uh, no, I don't think so. Do you want to do that? No, I'm just okay. wondering for my own. Um, yes, you would still have a little bit more room to move back. So, what I like to say to students is, you see the vehicle in front. Mm -hmm. We couldn't fit a car in there between no. us and them, no. But when you can, that's it. Don't reverse back Any more problem. than that. Okay, yeah, so it's a always... car width. And you can go forwards and backwards as much as you like. Okay. Yeah? Oh, there's no, like, you have to do it in a certain no. amount of turns. I'm okay. going to repeat all of this for you after we've finished this section. Okay. And we're going to go do your manoeuvres, and I'm going to put the icing on top, <laughs> the cherry, <laughs> sprinkles, everything, all right? When you're ready and it's safe, drive on. Nice blind spot check, well done. tree if that's all right lovely amazing you're feeling it out just using your judgment spot on perfect right what we're going to do on this road is we're going to jazz it up a little bit mm -hmm. are you ready for an emergency stop yeah sort of we haven't done this before i've done one before in the past okay um, I'll give you the quick speech which examiners give you. Uh, this is part of the test where if it's safe to do so, I put my hand up and say the word stop. Okay. At that moment, I'd like you to do your emergency stop, just like you practice with a driving instructor. Now, on the driving instructor side, this is how you do it, just because we haven't done it together, mm. all right? So when the examiner says stop, basically just squeeze that brake pedal really firm, like you were, I don't know, putting all your weight on a Coke can and trying to crush a Coke can. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, there. <laughs> The examiners used to say stuff like that, right? They stopped saying it. But you know how effective that is? If that's all I think when I used to do emergency. I was like, child! <laughs> they used to say it, okay? Um, so it's effective and it works. Um, okay. I'm not too sure why, but we've kind of not been advised to give that um, to give that <laughs> teaching even people method. PTSD. <laughs> probably, yeah, right? And it might happen to somebody. It might already happen oh, to someone. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, anyway, so once we've done that, that's the easy bit. Mm. The hard bit is once we've stopped, before we drive off, we must check all the way around the vehicle just in case there's any more hazards after the one that, the imaginary one that we stopped for. Okay. okay. So, any questions about the emergency stop? No. Right, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on and wait for my signal. Now I've got the fear because I know I know it's coming. <laughs> okay, so at the moment I can't ask you because there's an oncoming car. So if you just continue to follow the road yeah. and just drive as normal for now. Thank you. Just after passing this oncoming vehicle, it seems to be clear now. At the end of the road, so be ready. Turn left, A412, St Albans Road. And again, I can't ask you to do it anymore, so just drive us normal. Breaking gods are on my side right now. We may be able to find another road a little bit later where we could try and do it. We'll see. We get a big audience, you know. <laughs> People tune into this stuff. It'd literally just be me smiling today. I have my doctor, I have his WhatsApp, and I think he blocks me. Oh, right. Because okay. I constantly, I think he called me in a hypochondriac. Yeah. And I constantly text him, I was like, I've got this, and he's like, please stop. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds like um, my other ex-wife, actually, to be honest. <laughs> How many times have you been married? <laughs> Twice so far. Uh, I've only been married once. So. These are these are pretend marriages as well. Oh. I've never been married. Have you not? No. Have I been married once? Yeah. It's not fun. No? No. How long? I was only married a year. It's okay. Not say. too bad. Yeah, it was a bit of a whirlwind romance. I was engaged after four months. Were you young? Twenty. Well, it's been quite young, hasn't it? Yeah. It happens. I mean, it's quite there. depressing though being twenty eight and divorced. <laughs> Well, you're still young. Jesus Christ, man. You guys are too hard on yourself. I know, but I never thought I'd be divorced at 28. But you're 28. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your whole life is ahead of you. You've got nothing to worry about. And I went to a psychic. She's like, you're going to need a divorce three times. I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm going through it another two times. Well done with your speed limit, by the way, because we're in a 20 area, so... Sometimes speed bumps are good, they can highlight that as well. So every time I see these, I just know I'm going to go slow because I hate when I'm going fast. Like, do do? Yeah, exactly right. If you go over a speed bump at more than 20, depending on the vehicle, it can be quite unpleasant. So mm. usually 20, regardless, the even if it was a 30 road, you wouldn't exit. really go that there. much faster than 20. What happens if you go over a speed bump very, very fast? It would damage your car, and if you went over the speed limit, you would, you know, if you're on a driving test, you probably wouldn't be successful. Um, but yeah, most likely damage your car would be the result. Have you ever seen anyone go over a speed, speed bump very, very fast? Oh, yeah, quite a lot. My students used to do it in the A class, so I got rid that of it for that fun. reason. Yeah, that literally. Have... I did this for pennies falling out my brother. Yeah. It's a lovely car. For that reason, you miss your bump up, and your students don't know. They're learning to drive, aren't they? They think 20 miles an hour is fine to go over a speed bump. And it is. In an A class, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> He's in like a Range Rover, maybe. Oh, if you go over 50 After miles an hour, yards, easy. Cross the roundabout. This one's quite hard exit. to see for some people, this one. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Very, very good. As we can see, it could be important as well. Well done. Fantastic. A few times we've been here, we haven't had any traffic coming from that right side. Mm -hmm. Today we had two vehicles turning right. So well done for slowing and making your observations. Brilliant. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout. Are you still doing your competition this weekend? Yeah, competition this weekend. So if you're watching this um, past July 2022, uh, we might be running more competitions, so I want to make it a theme. I really want to build a community here, do a lot of giveaways, and help people to learn to drive. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Good positioning. Fantastic. Well done. Good observations. Imagine it's two lanes on the roundabout as well, so you don't squash the red car. I have a signal too early there. Not too bad. How are the mirror checks with your signal? That was awful. All right, so we've still got to work on those one. Um, because there was a bit of area there on the left, which somebody could use, it's more important at that point. If we're in a left lane, there's no left lane next to us. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's too bad, right? Can you see? Yeah. It wouldn't be as necessary. and we'll be back. Excellent mirror checks. Good speed for your turn, good covering the brake. Fantastic. Right, new road, new rules. Has the speed limit changed? New road, new mirrors. Are there any other vehicles around us that we may need to alter our speed? so that we don't slow them down depending on the speed limit. It's always good to think about these things when we join a new road. Honestly, driving looks so easy and it is, but at the same time there's so much. It's a lot of concentration, yeah. It's very complex. Yeah. Can be to start with especially. Yeah, I guess it's like riding a bike. Go straight on. Yep, you get the nail on the head. Excellent decision. Those vehicles are very slow and very far, so well done for making the move. See, it's so good with those. Every single yards, time you've gone through go it, it's really on. nice. Okay, I'm going to call this a right turn rather than a straight on. So I'd like to turn right, please. Oh, lovely. Where's the Starbucks? I wouldn't like to live around here. I mean, I know it's probably lovely, but... You need to drive. 
and this is a right turn as well so sat now saying straight on I'm going to give you the correct direction so turning right lovely all right nice turn well done uh, three minutes to go and we're back how are you feeling comfortable yeah don't read into the naysayers. Stay away from them. <laughs> Have you ever seen Wreck-It Ralph? It's a kid's... Yes, I yeah. love Wreck-It Ralph. Do you remember the first rule of the internet? No. Don't read the comments. Oh, that's what they say. It's really cute. And he just... This is number two, actually, Wreck-It Ralph 2. And he just goes into depression. And he breaks the internet. Oh, yeah, then he breaks it. Yeah, he gets mad and breaks it. I remember that. I remember the only thing I had on my iPad once, and I was like really sick in bed, and my TV wasn't working, so I had to watch it three times in the round. It's good. I might wreck it out. I watch all of these. I love Disney movies. I think it's just yeah. easy to watch. Yeah. Disney do movies right. They've, um, they really do. I mean, you can look at a Netflix movie. Don't get me wrong. They're brilliant as well. Okay. Um, yeah, but they cover like things that you don't even realise, like as an adult I watch and I'm like, wow. After For me yards, it's a score. Cross the roundabout. The what? The score. What does that mean? The Park music. Avenue. They get an orchestra and they make these. It's amazing. And it's like the like whole Moana, way they movie. Yeah. All that music. You could, you could fall asleep to these movies and you know, yeah. it's nice. I like that. Cross the roundabout. I do find like some of their messages, like even like I was watching Pocahontas the other day. <laughs> Mm. And like you don't even realize they tackle like things about racism mm. and things like that. And you think mm -hmm. how kids yeah. don't even realize this? Yeah. Sometimes they have very adult jokes in them as well. And I think oh, As the like group. innuendos. Good. Yeah, I've seen quite a lot of innuendos in Disney. Yeah. But it's good, you know. You got to keep the whole. You got to grab the market, don't you? So you get the adults and the kids. I mean, honestly, if I ever have a child, I have the best time. I was like, are you having to watch a movie? And I'm like, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if the temp time My kids are bored of movies. I bored them yeah. so much with more movies now. They're like, oh, God, not another movie, please, Dad. My ex used to have a kid and I used to love babysitting her. So she, all she ever wanted to watch was Frozen on Moana and others. Rest yeah, of they've grown up now, so we don't, don't do I'd that anymore. I'd get a McDonald's as well. <laughs> well yeah, it's all right, you know. I, mean, <laughs> yeah, she, I can I see like how it. you can pound on the, like, put the pounds on their feet. Oh, yeah. They leave chocolate and stuff over you like, oh, I'll just have that. Yeah, this has been a good route. Well done. I felt comfortable with it. I feel like my only problem is still parking. Yeah. But I feel like I know it. You know, it's frustrating because I know that I can do it, but I still panic. It's like self-confidence, isn't it? Yes, yeah. So lots of practice helps that. Mm. Builds a confidence. And here we are. Just back at the test centre. Okay, lovely. Uh, I think we're going to annoy people, but we can stop on the yellow line. So I'd like to pull over and stop on the yellow yards, line on the left. You have reached your destination on your right. Oh dear, it's been a bad slow down here. You have reached your Brilliant. destination. Cool. Away. It is on your right. Um, relax. That is the end of your driving test. I'm just going to take my seatbelt off. Car's secure. Okay. Usually at the, yeah, go ahead and unplug the car. At the end of the test, the examiner will say switch the car off. That's when you know your test is finished. Okay. Um, how do you feel that when? I reckon I wouldn't have passed. Why? Didn't check my mirrors enough. Okay. That's, that's, um, that's something we do want to stay focused on. So there's one driver fault for that, and it's mainly just when we're kind of leaving that roundabout or coming to the left towards the roundabouts or where the roundabouts are. So yeah, try and get that mirror check, especially for the exit of the roundabout. Mm -hmm. So that is one minor driver fault. Um, there's three minor driver faults in total. Okay. okay. Um, the next driver fault would be turning right. So remember the position when we're turning right, what so would you... Tight to the line. Good, tight to the line. Well done. So that kind of redeems you. So it's like you know the knowledge, you just accidentally didn't position correctly that one time. Try your best to do that in future. Brilliant. So that's the second minor. Um, now here we received one minor, this is the last minor, and one major, and that was on your reverse park exercise. Yeah. Um, what happened is we just did a little bit of correction, so that's called control, and that's where we got one minor. So if we do one correction, or multiple corrections, we receive a minor driver fault. Not a big deal. Uh, what we got the serious driver fault was for... Not checking my blinds. Yeah, that's it. So we've just got to break our neck. That's it. We're going to go do a lot more practice on that. 
Um, any questions for me before we sign off? No? So we're going to make this painless. That's it. Uh, just for that one little observation fault. Um, we wouldn't have been successful, but otherwise, really good driving. Well done. Stay calm. Stay away from the comments. Not my comments on YouTube. Those but. comments there. <laughs>